be any time of day or night. It just depends on the temperature and when it's getting below freezing. It is a great responsibility. It's something that we take very, very seriously. A lot of people don't realise that we're out there. We've gone before they actually get out of bed in the morning. At the end of the day, the safety of the travelling public in Milton Keynes is in our hands. Winter service is really the statutory provision that the local authorities required to do in order to keep the network free of ice and snow during the winter season. We have quite a mixture of roads in Milton Keynes, quite a, a large rural network that most people um, don't normally relate Milton Keynes to, but we also have a, quite a big urban network. So we have a, a mixture of both high speed roads and slow roads in terms of estate roads, small trunk roads between them, and actually what we then have to cover with our priority one routes. There are a number of factors that we take into consideration when we decide what roads to treat on a routine basis. Part of that is ensuring that the, the road network, but also sometimes the footpath and, and our cycle routes are also safe to be used. Obviously that's not just taking into account snow, it's, it's ice or frost as well. Ringway have always put a massive priority on delivery of winter maintenance. The hydraulics, they're all capped over there, all okay, they just snap on. So There's a great up. deal of enthusiasm and commitment. Um, the background for, for, for Ringway is all about and has been all about winter service. Our winter service is fine tuned, it's professionally run, but also there's a lot of thought that goes around what we do for the MK network, both the priority one routes and the priority two routes. All the decisions to make the call to go out gritted are made by Milton Keynes Council, um, but as we're only next door to them in the Bleak Hole Depot, it is very much of a two-way conversation. The gritters are all fitted with mass note, and mass note allows us to track not only where the gritter is, but the speed of the gritter, when it's gritting and when it's not, um, so we're able to not only see live information as to where the gritters are when we're actually out on a run, but also recall historical data. We've got about 1,251 kilometres of, of road in Milton Keynes and we routinely treat just under 700 kilometres every time we go out and treat the roads during the winter. We have 11 routes on the network and each driver is set for that particular vehicle. Uh, if it's a seven and a half tonner, a HGV, so each driver is married to that route and they actually know the route inside out. Yeah, one of the things that we do is we, we go out and assess roads and locations to make sure that we understand what's happening out on the network. The weather station is a, a Visala weather station that we've just upgraded. It, it provides us with um, the latest technology to, to look at road surface temperatures, air temperatures, and also looking at wind speed, rain intensity, and also we have high definition cameras on these devices which allows us to capture visual images as well. So the sensor in the road behind us, we have road surface temperature sensors and that allows us to record what the actual temperature is at the road level. So just looking at an overview at the moment, so this shows Milton Keynes and the, the four weather stations um, that we are currently um, looking at. It enables us to go into the weather stations and for that information to be reported back into a what's a, more of a, a visual in terms of a graphic, in terms of looking at forecasting data, looking at um, the, what the sensors are telling us, what they're saying at, at this moment in time, what they're predicting in terms of the next 24 hours. Um, and, and then we utilise that to, to make those decisions around whether we go out gritting or not. The decision comes in, it's, it's, um, generally we'll have a conversation beforehand, then the decision will be made um, via email. Once that, that takes shape, we'll call the drivers, make sure they're aware of what time the route's going to be taking place, what kind of spread rate it's going to be. And the supervisor comes in, and we actually preload a lot of the gritters, so they're already waiting for the drivers for that time to come in, and then the drivers will go out at that set time. They are mainly road workers during the day and if we're only doing a single run, say one evening run, one morning run, they will be in during the day as well. I think we've done 29 runs in January and some of them would have been double runs where we were in in the evening and then back in at sort of three in the morning. 
Uh, it does get very tiring when you do two or three of them in a row. Yeah, but you learn to live with it. Ploughing is just generally done when the snow's over 25 millimetres deep. Uh, we, we will put the ploughs on them and it's generally up to the Milton Keynes Council again whether we do that or not. Redways in Milton Keynes have a large corridor of networks that um, allow the public to pass from estate to estate underneath the grid rows through the underpasses. We've got approximately 360 kilometres of redways and one of the key things that we do is, is we set a series of priorities and during either a prolonged period of frost or in anticipation of snow we treat our redways as well with the small dedicated brine sprayers. And those tremos are ideal to get into those intricate tight spots which normal gritters wouldn't be able to see. When there is a need to treat the roads, that work's going to be carried out absolutely fine. I think they follow a, a route one and a route two, obviously prioritising bus routes and main roads. Um, but on the ground it is evidential that these roads are treated um, and to a good standard. And what we want to achieve as ringways is to make sure that that salt is applied on the network, the network is treated in the shortest amount of time, but also quite key is that it's also applied in the right manner so that the salt activates it to its full capacity. I think one of the other things that we can bring is the professionalism, how we deliver the contract. We're not cutting corners, we're doing things as we should do. We're doing things that we promised. We all work together because we know that the aim is to provide a service to keep people safe.